Uh, I'm Aza Fahmi, I'm a designer from Egypt. Uh, I graduated from the Faculty of Fine Art. Uh, uh, I was an uh, interior designer. I didn't like my work very much in this field. I changed it to jewelry. This is what happened 50 years ago. In that time, I started to work in an area which is uh, as, a, as an apprenticeship in a workshop uh, and I stayed two years learning about the crafts. And wh where was this workshop, Azza? Uh, this was in Khan Khalili. Khan Khalili is a very famous bazaar, the biggest bazaar in, in Cairo. Uh, then I start doing some small production myself and sell it to uh, my friends. Because there were, the, uh, in, in that time, the the, the, the pieces was a bit naive, but there was something unusual about it, which is people like it. And how normal was it for a woman to do this, Aza? It, no, it wasn't normal at all to, to enter a society which completely uh, men's society and not, uh, not I mean, uh, uh, educated or going to school. The, all of this society is a, the, the, a workshop which is inherited their uh, their crafts from their father or grandfather another so you, but so you, it was the only way to learn about crafts because in that time i didn't have the the money and the means to go and and uh, i mean uh, to, to learn and to teach myself and educate myself uh, outside egypt and you worked as a jeweler at the bench for 20 years is that right Asa? yes you know it's, it started for two years then uh, I was doing the jewelry myself for 20 years. After 20 years, I stopped doing this. I did only now the design and I supervise all the collection. All our collection is based on culture. Because when I start, uh, you know, doing jewelry, uh, I was in an area which is in the historic Cairo. For all the, the monuments around me was influencing me. And this is uh, I mean, this is conti continue this influence, and it goes from one thing to other things. Um, a, a Coptic collection, Islamic collection, traditional collection, uh, poetry, and uh, you know, all the things is related. Now, we're, we are not only concentrated in, in, in Egypt or the Arab world, we, we did other culture uh, from Africa, from India, from all the, you know... Um, all over the world. Uh, all over the world. And as of where you're sitting here, you can look out your window into the workshops and you now have 250 employees. Yes. I mean, what an achievement. <laughs> yes, yes. But you know, the nice things about it is everything I did, it was smoothly. Now, when I look to this journey and this, uh, I mean, time, I said, wow, I did all this, but maybe because I love this uh, I, and I have a great passion for this uh, job, for I did it even the obstacle was in that time, it was for me, it's okay. Wow. I, I, I did wrong, it's okay. Not, next time I will not do the same mistake. And, and I continue, I continue, I continue. And you're continuing because you have set up a foundation. Yes, now, because I feel that a lot of people now, they need this, they need this, they need, because now I am, uh, I have a great knowledge for crafts and jewelry in Egypt. I want my country to benefit from that. So I established as a family foundation, and I, we, we have a school for design, and we have a training, a training, a vocational training a school for people to learn crafts. And I think we'll do a big, inshallah, in the future, uh, and we'll take a, a governorate, a great governorate in Egypt, and take it as a, an example to elevate all the crafts in this. Uh, Aza, you're an absolute inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>